Hey there Assassins, welcome back to another Wheel Assassin Guide. This is Forza Horizon 5, how to get yourselves a police car in the wiki game. Now at the time of this video, the game is rather new, so unfortunately I don't have a list of all of the police cars uh, capable to be acquired in this game, because, um, well, we just don't have access to all of that information at the moment. Um, and there are of course cars coming and going, like we have loads of new cars on the way too, so that's going to be awesome. We might even get some new abilities for these police lights as well. So anyways, we're going to go back to the old basics. So if you remember from Forza Horizon 4, um, all of those cars, by the way, will get transferred across. So if, say, you had a police car from Forza 4 and you made a design specifically for that car, you can actually get that design as long as the car is in 5, you can get that design onto 5 and then you know voila as you can see most of these people here have uploaded their police car designs from forza horizon 4 uh, and actually i chose this car specifically because i know for a fact the police lights were available on it in uh in 4 so they're probably going to be available on it in 5 and uh luckily they are <laughs> but um yeah every single car that is available in 5 um from 4 from the 4 video i made about the police car lights they are all available in this game. So you just use the exact same technique as you did in that guide as you would on Forza 5. So I'm going to quickly rehash and show you a little bit about that in this game because it has changed slightly uh, from 4, not really drastically. Um, if you guys are doing this on your own, I'm pretty sure you could figure this out. But uh, I'm going to just give you a quick guide anyways, just in case if anyone gets stuck. So here we have a very, very nice Jaguar Mark II. And um, this have actually got a... Uh, like a Japanese police car wrap on it, which looks really, really nice. So as you would normally, you go to the Forzista, uh, Forrester is it, sorry? Um, but as I just bought the car, you know, you can install all these parts on it immediately. Now, I, w I don't actually want to like install random bits and bobs on it. I want to go around to the back right side of the vehicle. Down here on the sort of back bumper, you can access rear wing. And there you have the availability for police lights and uh, sirens and whatnot. So here you just want to click that on and it adds it to your basket. Now once it's in your basket, that doesn't mean you've, you know, 100% added it to your car. That just means it's reserved to be on your car. Um, this one costs 1,000 credits, which is actually not that bad. If you think that a race gives you, gosh, like in the 20s, uh, 20,000s, then uh, you can, you know, you can do a lot of cars before you get poor again. <laughs> um, but yeah, you just want to go ahead and install the basket with everything you just purchased for your vehicle onto your car. Then you have of course the option to go ahead and drive your new Jaguar Mark II or whatever police car you may own out on the streets of Mexico and uh, take down those racers. So it's a pretty pretty cool thing. I'm not certain yet at this time about the horn if you can still get the police siren horn. Uh, I'm assuming you can but uh, again I'm gonna have to like install this information in a later video once we have all this information too because the game is literally a month old uh, it's not even a month old yet actually it's like a couple weeks old so uh, I'm bringing you this very very fast and maybe a little bit too far ahead <laughs> but um yeah so I'm just gonna show you just me driving around now and uh, yeah I think we'll end the video right here thank you so much everybody for watching I really hope this guy has helped you out I'll drop a link in the description to every single car from that Forza 4 guide so if you are interested in looking at those cars, making sure they're available on 5.2, then you can get your police lights on those as well. And I'm pretty sure the Bugatti Veyron Super Sport will actually be available in 5 with the police lights, which is awesome because that's one of my favourite cars. Um, but yeah, if you did enjoy this one, please be sure to drop a like. That would be much, much appreciated. If you're interested in staying tuned for future Forza Horizon 5 uh, guides and whatnots, please consider subscribing. That'd be epic. Check me out on my social medias as well, guys, if you could, that'd be awesome. All the links are in the description. And uh, you guys have an excellent rest of your day. Stay safe, take care of yourselves, and um, yeah, stay tuned for more if you could. That'd be awesome. Goodbye for now. Take care.